So by now, you've probably seen the video of the man who pulled a gun at a Florida school board meeting. Probably the most exciting school board meeting ever. The freak started it all by painting a red uh, V on the wall as a reference to the crappy movie called V for Vendetta. He then complained that his wife had been fired and told everyone to leave the room, except for the men on the school board. That's when one of the women who left tried to sneak back in. Bless her, though. What a little trooper. Yes. Anyway, he let her go. He was very nice about it. He says, go away, Mabel, or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> he then turned his focus back to the superintendent, who was able, during all of this, to talk about taxes. I'm the only one that signs it. That's right. Will you let them go? I mean... But you're obviously upset at me. So why are they here? They're part of it. Part of what? The scam. Sir, I, I don't know what you ran to, to stop taxes, okay? You said we don't need no taxes. No, that's There's plenty of money. Then as soon as you gutted the school system, then you turned around and said, oh, now we need this half cent sales tax again. I said we needed to have some sales tax from the very beginning. I, I campaigned on that. Oh, yes, I did. You can find, you can look on the material. I said from the beginning, the half cent sales tax is the most equitable way because everybody pays it, not just property owners. Look, see, here's what I don't want to happen. I don't want anybody to, listen, just listen to me for a minute. I don't want anybody to get hurt. And I, I've got a feeling that what you want is the cops to come in and kill you because you're you're mad because you said you're going to die today. Anyway. But why? If this is this isn't worth it. This is a problem. Please don't. Please don't. Please. I'm going to kill. Don't you It always starts with a talk about taxes. Mm. Finally, a security guard rushed into the room. He shot the gunman, who then killed himself. Was that amazing? That's how did amazing. that, how, 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 how? It happens because it was east of the Mississippi River. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> touchy-feely east part. In the western part, west of the Mississippi River, see all the members of the school board are packing, and they'd have blown him out, you know, out of the water when he walked in. It was amazing, though, because he was there for a while with a gun, and nobody had come in there, but mm. Remy... You were, you were saying this was streaming live. Yeah, unfortunately for the other people who were there who got to leave the room, they were observing what was happening live on monitors right outside of the room. So the fact that security and nobody came back into that room to try and stop him before he actually attempted to shoot and kill the superintendent, thankfully he was a bad shot and he couldn't and he didn't mm -hmm. injure anyone but himself. I mean, that's just a, that's just a disgrace. Bernadette, he, I read somewhere that he was a massage therapist. Is there some kind of link to that? I never Probably. Such a bad shot. <laughs> right? You have to yeah. listen to people whine, no, no. and you're you're trying to be spiritual so desperately, yeah, exactly. and yes. you know when you try to be spiritually and touchy feely, <laughs> you're doing that because you really want to. That's why I'm spiritual because yeah. I really want to kill people. There you go. There you go. It's true. You know, Bill. Uh, what's the what's the real message here? It's why are people influenced only by crappy movies? Yeah, really crappy movies. <laughs> he didn't even get, it's remember, remember the 5th of November. It's based on Guy Fox. He got the wrong date. He's as bad with dates <laughs> as he is at shooting people. But this has more questions than it does answers. Namely, why didn't the purse thing work? Why did the I purse love, thing not work? I love her. Women of a certain age have everything but the kitchen sink in their purse. Yeah. She should have knocked him out cold. You know there was like petrified restaurant bread in there that should have done the trick. <laughs> See, I love her. I love, I love her for having the guts to do that. But I got to say, the guy, uh, which I don't think you, the, you see after this, the guy lets her go because I think he knew her. He says, like, stop Mabel, it. And, yeah, yeah Mabel, whatever. Well, but I kind of, like, going back to what Remy said, is everyone was seeing that. Why is it the woman with two kids yeah. who's over 50 is the one that comes in and does that? Yeah. There's got to have been someone else. Yeah. yeah. And nobody got out of their seat when she yeah. did it. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, but I, gotta, I also got to say, the, the fact that the guy could carry on a discussion about taxes <laughs> with a guy <laughs> holding a gun uh, is it's uh, my uh, vote. It's, uh, yeah. amazing. And just saying, please don't. It was almost like he's been through it before. Yeah, he practiced this. In home. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it, it's Mabel. She was coming out of the car yeah. to hit him with. The, it was except a, in the real practice, she hit him. Do you believe she missed him from two feet? She missed him by three feet. Yeah. I mean, how did that happen? Yeah. Anyway, a lot of missing all, also on, on his Facebook page, he said he was a fan of Media Matters. Got to love that. All right. If you have a comment on the show, email us. It's RedEyeFoxNews.com. And to leave a voicemail, my direct line: two one two four six two five zero five zero. I'm serious, Remy. And still to come, the halftime report from TV's Andy Levy, a jerk.
Tonight's Halftime Report is sponsored by Dolls, those small-scale figures of humans often used as a child's play toy. Thanks, Dolls. Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. So, Andy, how's it hanging? Actually, Greg, hanging's not bad at all. In fact, when carried out with modern techniques, hanging can be one of the quickest and most painless ways to be executed. The long drop technique reduces between 1,000 and 1,250 foot-pounds of torque on the neck when the noose jerks tight, running you unconscious in under a second. I was basically asking you how things were going in your life. Oh, oh, bad. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> No wonder you're obsessed with hanging. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was just doing some research. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just, just in case. Aww. It's only sexual. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want people to worry. John Bond, it's not only sexual. <laughs> John, bon, John Bon Jovi appointed to White House Council for Community Solutions. Two things. First of all, I think we're missing the real story here, which is that Scott Cowan and Paula Boggs were also appointed to the council, which is great news. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Congratulations to both of them, yeah, whoever absolutely. they may be. Absolutely. Good people. Uh, second, Greg, why all the Jovi hate? Uh, I'll tell you why. Uh, I go to the I go to a gym, Bally's. Mm -hmm. uh, a very nice gym, I might add. Sure. Give, give them a plug. No That's towels. Good. No towels in the place mm -hmm. whatsoever. Uh -huh. On their stupid video, Bally's video, uh, a pop music video, they play nothing but this uh, John... John Bon Jovi video, and they sit there and they hold up stupid signs, and it's all about philanthropy, and it just makes me nauseous. That's, the, that's where it's all coming from. This, this video I have to see every morning when I'm on the stair climb. No, I understand. So the fact that, he, that there's a philanthropy angle just makes you nauseous. Oh, yes, yeah. you know that. Understood, understood. Don't even know what the word means. Yeah. Uh, but I think if you did, you might change your mind. Oh, all right. Actually, probably not. Uh, Bernadette, you said if you've ever been to a New Jersey wedding, when John Bon Jovi comes on, it's pretty tragic. You mean when his music comes on, right? Yeah, it, yes, okay. that's right. what I mean. What, what did I say when John Bon Jovi comes on? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. I, I didn't know if he, like, showed up at every wedding and came on stage No, or the peroxide got to my brain. I'm sorry uh, okay. about that. All right, all right. Uh, Bill, a couple of things. First of all, you mocked Politico's Peter Gavin for referring to uh, JBJ as a poet. Apparently, you've never listened to the lyrics to Wanted Dead or Alive. Mm -hmm. I have, and I continue to mock. On a steel horse I ride. Bill, the steel bus, you, the steel ho horse, you may not know this, is the tour bus. How poetic is that? <laughs> Whoa, I thought he was talking about yeah. a robot horse. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> Which in and of itself is pretty cool. No. Uh, secondly, Bill, the correct term for black saxophonist is, of course, blaxophonist. Uh, my apologies yeah. to the entire yep. African-American community, yes. particularly uh, the play instruments. And by the way, I learned this before the show. Bon Jovi is Italian for good Jovi. Had no uh, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Have Aren't you got all Jovi's good though? Uh, have you heard not. anything, Andy, from the E Street Band about this? No, the E Street Band has been uh, relatively silent about this. Uh, I, they're at home. They're working on a new version of Jack and Diane. Oh, oh. fantastic! Yeah. Love that song. I love that yep. ditty. Love that song. Uh, Jimmy Carter says we're ready for a gay president. Remy, you said you're sh you're you're sure the question that Carter was asked didn't even have to do with the issue of a gay president. In fact, the interviewer just said to him, thank you for joining us, Mr. President. <laughs> and he just you know, started. He's sweet. He reminds me a little of my grandfather. They love to tell stories and go on and on. They start somewhere, and then they end up somewhere completely different. Yeah. So, you know, it's sweet. I don't yeah. agree with him, but it's sweet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you don't agree with him that we should have a gay president because you're homophobic? No. I, no. Awful. Just no, awful. I didn't say that at I all. Will, I will live to see you disbarred. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I don't, Greg, I don't understand this whole story. We've had gay presidents before. I mean, it was Abe Lincoln. Oh, yeah, John Adams. Yeah, Millard Fillmore. Zachary Taylor. James Garfield. Dwight Eisenhower. William Howard Taft. <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant. Do you know William Howard Taft? Nickname was William Howard Shaft. No way. Yes, it was. I had yes, no idea. Was. Yes, it was. <laughs> James Polk. LB he Gay. He was doing a lot of polking. LB Gay. <laughs> Who? LB Gay. L LB Gay. Yeah. had no idea. Yeah. Martin Van Buren. Um, more like Martin cute. Van Tour in the Park. <laughs> wow. <laughs> End scene. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Glenn Greenwald says Bradley Manning is being held under inhumane conditions. Remy, you said Manning hasn't been charged. That's not true. In July, he was charged for violating the Uniform Code of Military Justice uh, mm. by transferring classified data onto his personal computer and adding unauthorized software to a classified computer system and communicating, transmitting, and delivering national defense information to an unauthorized source. If that's accurate, then I stand that is, corrected. Oh, that, oh, it's accurate. <laughs> then I stand corrected, but the resources that I was provided did if not If that's reflect. accurate, are you questioning me? Yes. Mm -hmm. TV, wow. TV? Disbarred. 
He's yeah. hard, my well, friend. Well, I think the point is, if they have evidence to support these charges, if mm. they're going to leave him in this position mm. in confinement, they should pursue it. They should prosecute it so that there is a conviction. I, I, by the way, completely agree with you. He, he hasn't been convicted of anything. Mm -hmm. He's not a danger to anyone else. There's absolutely no reason he you should don't be know that. being held in cell. He's, he, the dude weighs like a buck oh two. He's so not does a, Manny, but Quinko. He, 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 Nice. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> nice. This dude should not. This Pacquiao, dude should not. Whatever his last name Manning, is. Manning. He should not be in solitary confinement. And there's no reason he can't have a pillow. This yeah. is this is absolutely absurd. Do you think really that this is? I mean, the, the, they don't want him to hang himself. Hence, no sheets. But he's not. He's not on suicide watch. Well, he will be if he sees this show. Boy, yeah. we have raked him over the coals. Poor devil. They I worry Andy might have given him some ideas at the beginning of this thing. No, no, this is just this is uh, the French have an expression that means for the encouragement of others, but they say it in French because they're pretentious. Mm. But I think uh, Greenwald kind of gets at this. I think that's what's going on here. They're doing this so that other people will look and say, "Oh God, I better not do what he did," or "This is how the government's going to treat me." But he, that, that's not right. You can't do it that way. No, I kind of like that idea. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. I'm going to introduce you to the Constitution one day, Greg. What's that's that? What, that's what I'm going to do. Ooh. Is that that weird room you have underneath your bed? Here's Maybe. an idea. Maybe. What, why not have a talking Constitution, perhaps with some eyes, a little bit of strain? <laughs> that is Day just... is a number, gray lady. I like it. Yes. No. And it'll talk like Glenn Beck. <laughs> that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. You're the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and Larry, you said it's jail, meaning it ain't supposed to be fun, which again is fine, but there's a difference between holding someone in detention pending a trial and, you know, putting them in solitary confinement. Andy, I was, going for a little, I was going for a little comedy. I'm I sorry. Know, I, really, I know. I mean, hey, Andy. Yeah. I'm just really grateful that you, you know, said something about me this time. The last three times I've been here, you talk about everybody else at the halftime report. You don't say <laughs> anything about me and it hurts my feelings. You, I, don't, make, you don't make mistakes, Larry. Yeah, it's a compliment. No. Andy Levy. At TV's Andy Levy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on the mark again? Uh, on this Florida shooter guy, uh, Greg, you said the guy started it all by painting that red V on the wall as a reference to that crappy movie, V for Vendetta. Yeah. Uh, first of all, not a crappy movie. Yes, it is. But, all right, you could argue it is. Uh, but more importantly, he could have been referencing the original graphic novel by Alan Moore, and I believe it was uh, David Lloyd. I was looking at him and assuming he was referencing the movie. <laughs> I think yeah, you're probably right, actually. Yeah. May I say something? Because this bothers me. You don't I'm think he looks like you. the kind of guy who reads graphic novels, Greg? Uh, perhaps. No, no, no. Let's, let's, get to the, let's get to brass tacks here. It's mm. a comic book. Stop <laughs> no, calling a graphic, it a graphic, it's a graphic novel. novel. It's not a comic book. There's a difference. There is no difference. Uh, and also, Greg, you mentioned that the guy was a massage therapist. Talk about an unhappy ending, am I right? Wow. We're just, we should be thankful that there Thank were no you. other... Thank you. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> be thankful there were no other casualties and the guy was a bad shot. Absolutely. The poor people. All yep. right. Coming up. Go away. Jeremy Piven is dead. What? Set on getting those new hair plugs. Oh, oh, yeah. But first, will a dog's lick do the trick for Michael Vick? Who cares? It rhymed. What more do you want from me?